Have you ever thought about how people are modulating their voice while they speak? Well, maybe you have not thought about the modulation, but about the impression of the speaker. A very monotonous use of what we can call the voice melody gives the impression that the speaker is tired or without energy. Modulation is often an element in the voice performance that we do not think much about, mainly because the perception of the spoken voice is something that is hard to extract and remember. It is an ephemeral phenomenon. But since we are able to record the voice, it can be captured. In this tutorial, we are extracting the fundamental frequency of zero of the speaker, the melody that you hear under the language when somebody speak and you are learning to verify if extracted if zero value seems to be right. We are using two software programs, WaveSurfer created by Jonas Besko and Korsulander and Excel. WaveSurfer is a free software tool and it runs both on Mac and PC. If you're familiar with Prat, you might use that instead. I have tested the F0 analysis of the two programs in my PhD dissertation. And if you're working with recordings where you do not know the details about the recording settings such as microphone type, distance to the microphone, the space in which the recording has been done, and the format of the recording, which is often the case with archival material or field recordings from other researchers. WaveSurfer is handling the analysis more precisely. First you open the file and we choose the female recording that we earlier did in Audacity. And we choose speech analysis. Now in the top you see a waveform. And here you see a spectrogram. But what we are going to look intensely at here is actually the F0 analysis. And you can listen to the sound and look at the values at the same time. And were they just short stories or did you have novels? Mm -hmm. oh, you did write stories. Center. Now you remember that the female voice is actually most of the time between 164 and 261 hertz and what we see down here is actually quite low so if we listen again just short stories you can hear the hmm from the male voice we don't want that in the analysis of the female voice it will disturb it so we cut it out and we continue to verify if it looks right. Now there's something strange down here. You did write. This might be something, some clicking. So we are taking that out as well. What I like about the program is that you can actually move those dots. So if something looks really strange, you can move it back. And here again, something is a bit strange. Is it look correct? And we listen again. Magazine. Look great. It's like. Magazine. It's like it's some noise in the microphone. We don't want that either. And we have to remember that it's only 13 seconds that we have here because the female voice, she, she was only questioning, so most of the. of the time the male was speaking so we are going to have much more male voice than female voice now it looks right then we say save data file and we put it on the desk now we have to verify everything and we import the CSV file
and it won't read it so we say all files and we can get the data it looks right here you have to divide with the space and everything is fine and we want to have it from the corner and on so it's just fine now the two first columns are not useful for us. And we don't need all those decimals. Now, for the analysis that we're going to do in this unit, we do not look at how the voice perform in time but we are going to make a modulation histogram if you want to look at the pauses the breaks of the voice that you are analyzing you will have to number your uh, frequent the 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 appearance of your values in order to be able to restore it when you once have sorted it out. But since we are not going to do this in this analysis, I'm not using time on that. Now, <clears throat> we want to sort it. So again, we take down all those in order to get them out and all the zeros it's where there's no sound so we delete them okay okay now we select the numbers that we have we choose insert chart and we choose a line to the align chat. Now what we can see here is that those values are going strangely down and indeed those are going up in a strange way. So those might be sound waves some, from something else than the, f the female voice that we are investigating. So we can actually go in and we can look, okay, from 315, we want to take those values out. Because those cannot be the female voice. It must be something disturbing. Okay, and we look at the chart again. We see it corrected itself. Now we want to take those out. They could be right. The female voice can go down to this level. Normally it will not go that high up, but then again, it doesn't look that strange. So we just want to take out here from 155 where it goes down. So those values are out. So now you have your F0 values and you are ready to do the next step in creating a modulation histogram.